now I've noticed that you're rather reluctant up till now to let full go with your tonsils. So we're going to encourage you now with a bit of a sing-along. I'm going to lead us all in these choruses and I'd like to hear you all raise your voice in harmonious optimum. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you, Maestro. times, ladies and gentlemen, most notably by a wonderful entertainer in the music halls called Randolph Sutton, mm -hmm. and later on by another wonderful performer called Frankie Vaughan. Mm -hmm. And it's a lovely song, it's called Give Me the Moonlight. Now the only thing I will say, ladies and gentlemen, is that uh, this, is the mo this is the hottest day so far for ten years, yes. in, in records, since records began uh, uh, ten years ago. And so I'm not going to do the high kick. <laughs> no, no, because, because, you know, if you do the high kick and you're sweating, it's, no, it can be very dangerous, very dangerous. And so I'm not going to do the high kick at the end, but we can still do the song and enjoy it, can't we? It's a little, and it's got a, such a pretty verse. I wonder if you know it. Thank you. <laughs>
try the high kick? Yes. Shall I try the high kick? Yes. Okay, well, you keep singing and I'll limber up. To me, because you can't do it without. Give me a paddling roll. Give me a shaking up. shows and the very first time I wore it was for a pantomime uh, when I met my wife Joy there yes. and she was working behind the scenes and I was the comic and we got together we had dinner at each other's houses you know how it goes yeah. and then I got my very first summer season of Sunday nights Ooh. in my own show yes. and I asked Joy to work with me and I was saying I couldn't get a comic to do Sunday nights and she said well, why don't you do it and I said, well, stand on a stage and make people laugh. And she said, yes. I said, do you really think I could do it? She said, yes, you do it in the pantomime. I said, do you really think I could do it, Joy? She said, yes. She said, anyway, it'll save us getting a proper comic. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the first year I wore this hat. And I did a little act that I'm going to do part of this afternoon, just a very small part for you this afternoon. It's only because it's a, it's a sort of experiment that you might be looking at yourself you look at, might be looking at me saying, yes. look at him, he's so smart. Yes. Look at that lovely tailcoat. Yes. And look at his waistcoat, freshly yes. refurbished I have. <laughs> and so, um, but when I put this hat on, I change into the bashful buffoon. So I'm going to do one joke and one song from this. Let's see if you think when I turn, when I put it on, I turn into the bashful buffoon. <laughs> Well, now I've got a sad story to tell you. Oh. It's sadder than that. Oh. It's even sadder than that. Oh. It's about a little girl who didn't like her belly button. Oh. Isn't that silly? She didn't like her belly button. And every night she used to pray. She'd say, Dear God, God bless Mummy and God bless Daddy and please get rid of my belly button. And every night for years she did this, nothing happened until one night she thought to herself, If nothing happens tonight, that's it, I'm not going to bother. But she put her hands together. She said, Dear God, God bless mummy and God bless daddy and please get rid of my belly button. And just when she thought nothing was going to happen, she looked out of her bedroom window and she saw a blue swirling mist. She saw a blue swirling mist. <laughs> and the blue swirling mist came to her bedroom windowsill. The blue swirling mist came in a crack in the window and turned into two blue hands. The two blue hands opened the window, shook out of the window and there coming down from the skies was a long golden staircase. The bottom step of the long golden staircase rested on her bedroom windowsill. She looked at the top of the staircase and there, slowly walking down the staircase, was an angel. The angel got to the bottom of the staircase and he stepped into a room and he said, Are you the little girl that doesn't like your belly button? She said, Yes. He said, I am your salvation. And he went into his pocket and he got out a little silver screwdriver. Oh dear. <laughs> he started to unscrew her belly button. When he unscrewed her belly button, he popped the little silver screwdriver back in his pocket and out of the other pocket got a blue velvet bag. Popped the belly button into the blue velvet bag, put it in his pocket, he stepped up under the windowsill and slowly walked up the long golden staircase. The long golden staircase slowly disappeared, the two blue hands closed the window and turned back into a blue swelling mist and went out of the crack they came in and everything was quiet. And she was so excited that at last she'd got rid of her belly button that she jumped up to look at herself in the mirror and her bum fell off. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it was sad. It's terrible. <laughs> and you know, I always finish that act with this song. It's one of the most beautiful songs ever written. Thank you. Oh. 
Thank you.